All right, hey guys, and welcome back to the channel for a brand new Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga video. Today, we're gonna to do something a little bit different and we are going to be going over five features that I think will make Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga, absolutely incredible. Now, before we jump in, I just wanna say thank you so far for all the love on the Lego Star Wars content. You guys have been showing a ton of support and I really do appreciate that. Also, as my way to say thank you to you guys, if there is any specific type of Lego Star Wars videos you would like to see on this game in the future, then be sure to comment those down below and while you're down there go ahead and drop a like to help push this video out to more people anyways getting started with number one number one on this list is the freedom to choose where you start the story lego star wars the skywalker saga is giving us the opportunity to play through all nine episodes of star wars not only that but it's also giving us the freedom to choose where we start whether that be from episode four to play the original trilogy first whether you want to start at episode one and go through to episode nine or even just to start at your favorite movie this alone i think is going to make everyone's first hands-on experience experience with the game different to the next person as they might choose different movies to start at. As a content creator planning to stream this to my audience, I think it would be really cool to see all the other content creators who might start at a different point in the game to me, who hopefully can share in the success and gain new viewers, as not everyone's going to be playing the exact same thing at once. So for example, I might start at episode one, Sammy might start at episode four, and Mark might start at episode seven, who knows? But I think it's gonna be a really good opportunity for content creators to just start at a different place. Moving into number two is the brand new combat systems that they've added to the game. So obviously the lightsaber combat and the fighting combinations are a lot different to what they've been in previous Lego Star Wars games. But on top of that, they've not just added these for the characters with lightsabers, but pretty much for every playable character. This also comes with obviously a multitude of force abilities that we've seen in previous games. And on top of that, I'm sure there's a few new ones added as well. TT Games has also added counter moves to keep the players experimenting with new things and as a means to avoid button mashing like in previous LEGO games, if a player is sensed to be button mashing the same attack, your enemies are more likely to block those incoming attacks, forcing the player to get creative and do something different. On top of this as well, for the blaster heroes, third person shooting is now coming to the game with an aim down sight ability making it much more accurate and adding a new dimension for the gameplay. So this is definitely something that I'm really excited for as well. Moving into number three, it is the class system and there's not a whole lot to go over here as they haven't really dived into it too much yet but basically what you're going to do throughout the game is you're going to find kyber bricks which are essentially going to upgrade your characters and unlock new abilities in this latest edition the class system will have different abilities that you can use for your characters these abilities can be upgraded throughout the map as you find kyber bricks they will be in hidden locations and there might be certain pieces around the map that you'll have to move around in order to get to them but they're basically going to reward you with newfound abilities which will help you traverse the map and also when fighting more difficult enemies. Number four on the list is the fact that we are getting over 300 playable characters. With this many characters confirmed for this game, it's going to give you unthinkable amounts of options and gameplay. With this many characters being added to the game, I would be surprised if there are actually any characters that you don't get the opportunity to play. Throughout some of the trailers so far, you can see gameplay from all the usual suspects in LEGO Star Wars games, but we also see the likes of Jabba the Hutt, Mace Windu, and Jango Fett, and not to mention a ton of vehicles to control also. Speaking of vehicles, let's talk about space combat. Number five on the list is actually the addition of space combat. This game is going to give us the ability to take to the skies in a number of different aerial vehicles to battle against the dark side. Trailers so far have shown the Millennium Falcon, Poe Dameron's X-Wing, and a ton of more options to dogfight it out in the skies with what looks to have taken inspiration from Battlefront 2's Starfighter Assault's movement and basically just slapped the Lego skin over the top, which I think personally is gonna look like a lot of fun. Anyways, guys, this is the five things that I think are going to make Lego Star Wars the Skywalker Saga absolutely incredible. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and if there's anything else you think I need to add into this list, maybe we could do a part two to this video so make sure you comment down below what you're most excited for in this game and leave a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you are not already as always thank you so much for tuning in i will see you in the next one and may the force be with you always